self quarantine. It's a term you've been hearing a lot about lately, but what exactly does it mean? The night team's Jaffney Gray spoke with a UT health doctor who breaks down the concept of self quarantine. Only if you are at risk of developing the infection because of, of a prior exposure, I would minimize leaving my home. That's the advice Dr. Fred Campbell with UT Health San Antonio has for those who are under self quarantine. It can be voluntary or ordered by Metro Health. People who volunteer to self quarantine after traveling to certain places don't necessarily have to stay locked up inside of their home the entire time. Most people who have not had a definite exposure to someone who has been positive for COVID-19 uh, can go out and uh, walk their dogs, uh, bike, do other activities that don't involve close contact with other people. Dr. Campbell did stress the importance of using common sense. Maybe one family member goes out as uh, seldom as possible to pick up things like food and other needed um, items and not have a, a group or an entire family going out together to do those things. Dr. Campbell encourages people not to panic should you come in contact with someone under self quarantine. Just remember to keep your distance. Social distancing may make the difference between the COVID-19 virus overwhelming our health care system in the United States and being able to handle uh, any serious cases that we have. Japhanie Gray, KSAT 12 News.